Lawmakers have yet to come up with a plan to stop sequestration from happening in January. That's when automatic budget cuts will kick in if they haven't reached a deal on cutting federal spending. Republicans and Democrats are blaming each other. Is there still time, though, for a compromise? Joining us now, Republican Congressman Mac Thornberry. Uh, he's joining us live to discuss this. And, Congressman, thank you for your time. I want to start by asking, um, you voted in favor of the Budget Control Act, and now Democrats say Republicans voted this through. They have to deal with the consequences. How do you respond? Well, if you'll remember, uh, the purpose of sequestration was that it would be so horrible that it would require uh, some sort of agreement on reducing the deficit. And, and those people who say the deficit is a threat to our national security are absolutely right. What we've got to do is find a way to save the same amount of money without the mindless across-the-board cuts that sequestration would bring. Well, the House did come up with something. Uh, the President, the White House, threatened to veto it if it got that far. Uh, Senator Harry Reid, the Majority Leader, said it won't ever go to a vote in the Senate. So what are your hopes that there's any kind of bipartisan agreement that could come together before January? Well, two things. One is I think the awareness of the effects of sequestration are growing. A lot of people hadn't focused on it, but what we know now is that not only would it decimate defense, it would really hurt a lot of important domestic programs such as medical research, air traffic controllers, border patrol. So there's enough in there that everybody ought to be very concerned. But, but secondly, uh, we have several proposals. You mentioned the House has passed one. We have another Another one with about 70 co-sponsors in the House that just uh, substitutes the savings with attrition of federal workers. So there's lots of ideas out there about how to substitute the savings uh, in a more responsible way. We just need some partner to work with us. Uh, defense spending, is my understanding, will bear 42.6 percent of all the sequestration cuts. Uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Chairman uh, Martin Dempsey, says that's an unacceptable risk. The Secretary of Defense, uh, Leon Panetta, has said that it would be a disaster. Um, do you think that those words from those leaders uh, will get through to folks on both sides of the aisle in time to make a difference? Well, it should because, remember, these are people serving in the Obama administration who say it would be devastating. And, and I think there's no doubt that it would. Defense is only 15 to 19 percent of the budget, and yet, as you say, about half of the cuts come from defense. And the other part that I think a lot of people haven't focused on is defense operates through millions of contracts. How, what's going to happen with those contracts when the government doesn't keep its end of the bargain by cutting unilaterally 15, 20 percent off every program, project, or activity? We had testimony this week in the House that says basically that'll cost more to clean up than the money that will be saved. So I hope these facts that are coming out about the effects of sequestration will get their attention. And, and Congressman, we have uh, one of your colleagues from California, uh, Democrat John Garamendi, with us. And we plan to have him on camera. We've had some technical troubles. He was kind enough to call in so we can at least have you uh, on the phone. Uh, Congressman Garamendi, you voted yes for the Budget Control Act as well. Um, what's your feeling about knowing what's coming to the Defense Department and domestic programs as well if the two sides can't reach an agreement? Well, we certainly knew back in the summer, last summer, that this was going to be a major problem, and it's specifically designed to put a lot of pressure on Congress to do what we need to do, which is to make the appropriate cuts and also to raise the revenue so that we deal with the deficit. Uh, we have yet to do that. Uh, certainly the defense cuts are going to be very uh, difficult and in some cases damaging, but on the domestic side, the same kind of things are going to happen. We're looking at very substantial cuts in, in all kinds of medical research, as well as uh, energy and other kinds of research that we need. We know that uh, children's programs and mo dozens and dozens of programs are going to get slashed and very harmful. So what we need to do is to get our act together, come together. Mac is a, a terrific uh, congressman, and uh, we just need to put on paper a solution, a balanced solution, then proposed. hasn't been done. We've got work out ahead of us. All right, Congressman uh, Thornberry, Congressman Garamendi, we thank you both for weighing in, and we hope that you will find some solutions working together. Thank you both for your time. Thank you. Up next, we'll talk to the grandmother of two cousins who've been missing for more than a week now in Iowa.